And we are back with our medical correspondent, Dr. Sujatha Reddy, answering your most pressing coronavirus questions. And Dr. Reddy, these are questions we just got in during the show via text, so thank you to all for texting. Michelle asks, can you contract the virus from an open cut or scrape on the skin? Probably not, unless, you know, actually I'm going to say no, because the virus is entering through the mucosa, the tissues in the nose and the mouth. It's probably not going to be through a cut in the skin. That's just not, an, I think, enough of an exposure. We know the droplets are getting into the nose and the mouth and the eyes, and that is commonly how we're seeing it. Having said that, any cut really should be covered as much as you can, but mm. I wouldn't be too, too worried about that. Another viewer just asked, will the heat of the dryer kill the coronavirus on clothing? Also, will a high heat blow dryer kill coronavirus in your hair? I never heard about coronavirus being in, in your hair. So A, is that even possible? And the other thing I heard with the blow dryer is that it could kill it if you put it um, up your nose or near your nose. Yeah, I would not recommend putting the ha uh, hair dryer near your nose. I think sometimes hair dryers can get very hot and that could actually hurt you. Mm -hmm. So as far as coronavirus being in your hair, the only way it's going to be in your hair is if someone who has it coughs or sneezes near you and it could be in your hair. Now, once it's exposed to the air, it's not going to live too, too long, probably a few hours. So if you're washing your hair on a regular basis, the soap of the shampoo and stuff is going to take care of it. Um, as long as you're not touching your hair and there's virus there and touching your nose and eyes, you know, that's how you're going to catch it. So the hair question, I think normal hair washing is what we need to do. Uh -huh. As far as on your clothes, yes, in my opinion, the temperature of a dryer is going to also be able to kill the virus off. Having said that, if you're washing your clothes, the soap and water is going to wash the virus away. We think on soft surfaces, the virus only lives about 24 hours. But again, even though we know the virus is on surfaces, it can be airborne for a brief time. That is not the major concern. It's usually that direct to direct person contact. So the social distancing, staying home is going to be the key. This next question is from Ness. Uh, I've been displaying a cough and an upset stomach, but not a fever. I have a feeling it's most likely just seasonal allergies, but I want to be sure. Is it possible I could be developing symptoms? Yes, Ness, it is possible. And if the symptoms stay mild, I think your best bet is just to contact your health care provider and be in touch with them. So that if you do develop anything or get worse and you need to get tested, you'll know how to do that. But if the symptoms are mild, again, I would just watch yourself, you know, um, take stuff to relieve the symptoms that you normally would take. But it's possible. But you are right. The pollen count was the second highest in history the other a couple days ago. So it could be allergy. So, you know, pay close attention. I would call your health care providers just so you have them in the loop and you guys have a game plan. Yeah. Anxiety is high. You know, every time we have even just the scratchiest throat, we think it's COVID. Uh, yeah, and it should be high. This is a yeah. serious thing. We should be taking extra special care of ourselves and our families. Kathy wants to know what is the treatment for at home care if you tested positive versus early stage care in a hospital? So if you have mild symptoms or early symptoms, you may not end up in the hospital like we saw with our coworker Andy Parati. If the symptoms are able to be made controlled at home, you're going to more than likely be better off at home. You're not going to get all the other things that could be floating around in a hospital. So, and we really want to keep our hospital beds for the people that really need it. The symptom that's really going to drive that is the shortness of breath. If someone's mm. having trouble breathing, that's the time we need to put them into a hospital if it gets really bad into an ICU. So if you're having milder symptoms, it's really okay. And the best thing to be at home, but then isolate yourself from everybody else in the house and definitely from the outside world. But mild symptoms, early symptoms can be managed at home. You know, taking medicine for the fever, Tylenol or ibuprofen, whatever you normally take, you know, drinking plenty of fluid, get plenty of rest, eat what you can. But if you can stay home, that's going to be in your best bet. All right, Dr. Reddy, a pleasure as always. So smart, Dr. Reddy. Oh, thank you. You too. Always nice to talk to you, Sheba. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll be back.